Hi, welcome back to Genuine Encoder, guys. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have <coughs> updated the dialogues in the book issue section to match the material design compatibility, and now it is working. In this video, I will be updating the <coughs> book issue. Uh, furthermore, so one issue that is there is this issue. So if I press this issue and uh, Are you sure want to issue the book to your origin job? So yes, I want to issue that. and after pressing yes The bookie issue is complete and still the data is here. So we have to change it, right? Yes, so let's clear the entries just like we did in the 30th video or something in for the review submission session Once the bookie issue is success or if, even if it is cancelled, we just have to clear the cache in this UI so Coming back to the main controller So we have this load issue operation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear those entries first So for that just like what we did for review submission section. I'm going to create another entry. So clear issue Entry so I'm going to give the method name as I have some difficulty in naming method. So that's why so clear issue entries that's the method so here i'm going to work on that method so we have clear issue entries here. let me put in this right here and i have this ui here so we have book issue and this field book id first we have to clear this right so i'm going to edit this book id <coughs> input dot clear this will clear that field then i have this member id so uh, let me check the FX ID. So it is member ID input. So I can do the clear operation for that also. So click. So far so good. Those two entries are clear. Now we have to clear these entries. So book name holder. So uh, that uh, field name is book name. So book name dot set text, and I am going to set that text to an empty string. I have to repeat that for author, and uh, there is a sample space that is for uh, it, whether it is available or not. So book author. Then here we have book status. So here I, I have set book name, book order, and book status uh, to uh, empty strings, and here also we have to set member name to empty string member name to empty string then here member contact so member mobile dot set text so those will be cleared whatever the uh, result of this issue operation whether it is a success or failure we just clear that entry so clear issue entry so that part is okay then what i want to do is uh, uh, let us run the program now so I'm going to run the program using GC root. So GC root is my username and password. So then I'm going to enter the book ID. So the book ID I'm going to enter is B101. It is not available. Issue is normal. Let's then B100. So both are not available for issue this one. So let me first re uh, submit the book back. So B100 submission. Okay. Okay. <coughs> And no such book exists in the issue database. I mean, the submission is completed, so that's okay. Then, here in the book issue section, I'm going to select B100 so it is available. Then, 100. Then, I'm going to press on this issue button. And are you sure want to issue? Yes, book issue complete. So, this upsell is still there. So, let's see what's the problem. So, coming to the clear section, there is book member name is there so i changed this so this is book status book name member mobile is there i haven't changed this member name so member name holder is there and that's also is set text to zero i think it, it will be a much better idea if i do that if i clear the entries uh separately so let's do it so coming to the clear entries if there is if case right i mean this yes button is there so inside that i will put the clear entries after so it won't immediately clear the entries so previously you show that after showing the material dialog it i uh, i mean the entries were cleared so i don't want that i want to do that after clicking the uh, yes or no button so clear entries let's see how it looks now so i am just uh, closing the current instance running the program again so GC wrote and here I am going to enter B101 
it is not available again i have to submit it back d101 submission okay okay now it is cleared from the database so b101 here 100 so this uh, b101 refreshing then if i press on issue then the data is still there and once i show the uh, give the confirmation so uh, are you sure what yes i want to issue it so issue complete now everything is clear so that much part is okay and one more thing i have to do is i want to remove this uh, uh, Values, I mean, these default values to empty string also. So, I don't want the user to be knowing this is the name order or something. So, I'm going to just press space and enter. So, it is empty now. So, that much part is okay. One more thing that is left is this renew submission part. Here, in say renew submission, we have to use the material design uh, alert. So, let us just run the program. Let me log in and here in said review submission if i press b100 then if i press on the submission this is still non-material design uh, confirmation box so let us program that uh, part so load member info doesn't matter load book info doesn't matter uh we have load book info load submission operation so here we have load submission operation and here we have to change these entries so we have an alert here so here we need a jfx button so jfx button <coughs> btn btn equals new jfx button and here inside this button as a string i am going to this is the information uh, that is book hex is submitted so i am going to use that as done then i am going to make use of my alert maker so alert maker dot show material dialog root pane is okay then here we need root and pane then here as a control i am passing my array list so array dot as list then i have my button that's okay then header text so header text i am going to give submission uh, book has been submitted so that can be used book has been submitted then since it is a simple message i need only the header i don't want the content i mean the body so so that's okay so i'm going to remove that alert previously i did this load book info to refresh the content and it is a little bit annoying i agree that so i am just going to remove that with the disable enable controls which will disable <coughs> yeah it uh, once again so i have to do this as false because once the book has been submitted i just don't want to uh, view the ui again so until i enter the next book so i'm setting the controls to disable mode and here also we have submit uh, sub, uh, submission data container with opacity so i am going to set that to zero so that that won't be visible i accidentally press the insert button okay so that's okay now if the submission has been failed if the submission was a failure then i need this to and show the message in a materialistic way so i'm going to paste that right here Control shift f to organize the code and uh, here fail let us check okay i will check so I hope that is a user friendly message. Then here we have to give submission has been failed. So here I will replace that text with the submission has been failed. Here if it is a failure, I am not going to uh, disable the controls and remove the entries there because the user still want to know which book is failed and all. So I will keep that there. And here we are going for canceling. I mean if the user explicitly cancel the operation then we have to give that message also so okay okay then here we will give the message submission operation cancel as the header text so that part is okay we don't want these codes i think it is much more better now now there is one more thing this alert and this alert there is one more alert so we have to do that Part first so I am going to copy this code again and uh, here we will do it so here we have alert alert uh, uh, we, oh, what happens uh, let me just check this code so it is failed set content piece selected book to submit 
so if it is not ready for submission then we have to select a book uh, then we have to show this message so it is a very simple message then okay we will need the button text as okay then we need the header text as please select a book to submit <laughs> then uh, if you want a uh, user friendly message i will type one more as body here can't simply submit a null book then i will put a smile here friendly smile here okay that part is okay then i will do this insert so i need that uh, insert option i, I accidentally i press that insert button again so this is okay so there is an error let's see no it was let me for it now we have in a sort of no option here so if the user presses yes we have to execute this else we have to do that it is similar to what we have done previously i mean uh, we had this kind of situation here loading load issue operation so i am going to copy this code uh just this code there is button so we need a yes or no option so here i am going to create one more button so a yes button then i need one more button that is no button no then i'm going to give yes please then here inside yes button i am going to add an event handler so yes button dot add event handler i need mouse event mouse event dot mouse clicked then event handler that could be that will be a mouse event event yeah let it be ev ev okay then here i have this event handler and if he press yes then we have to proceed with this issue operation so i will put that code here and in case if he press no then i am going to just copy this paste this instead of here instead of yes button i need no button so no button dot even handler then instead of this i want to let him know that he cancelled the issue operation so i am just pasting that right there then i am going to remove this much code i need uh, then in the last step i need to make use of alert maker dot show material alert dialog where is it the yes root pane is okay then here i need a root anger pane here i need two controls so i i have to pass it at is dot as list i am doing this first because i already done this for uh issue operation so uh, renew operation so yes button then we need one more button so that is no button and here we have to pass the header so header can be confirm submission operation that's very good so i'm going to pass that and here i need this confirmation so are you sure want to return this book and he will reply with yes or no which will process it will be processed with the event handler so this is also complete so i think we are good to go let us run the program and hope everything works gc root so yeah. actually the username and password is admin and admin before admin and root i think i changed that uh, during the password change uh, or using the password change option so coming back here i'm going to press b1 b100 it is not available b101 is also not available i'm going to submit it back b101 submission are you sure want to return this book so are you sure want to return this book uh, so yes please is there but and no is there so i am going to return this so yes please so book has been written so that part is okay now still there is b101 is there so renew submission i have to check that so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear that entry for now so i can do that in two positions so if he press no or yes so i will do that uh, later for now let's just do this for renew operation also <coughs> so b101 so b100 no such member available 100 is there b101 is now available is for sure so the submission operation was a success now we have to repeat this for renew operation also so this is very similar to uh similar to what we have done for this submission so i am not going to record it i will do it and push it to g
<laughs> so as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.